What's up everyone? Happy Mental Monday. Obviously you can see I got a new studio. I'm doing this like a real pro now. Um, this is the same studio we use for the Brutus Wrestling Podcast as you guys have hopefully listened to by now. Um, as I just filmed it a few minutes ago. I'm hoping they post that first before you hit this next Mental Monday. Um, what I want to talk today about is the fear of getting tired. This is something that is huge in athletes, something we see all the time. Um, and frankly, there's no getting over being tired, right? If you're going to wrestle, you're going to get tired. So number one, I'm going to give you guys a few bullet points here. Um, and I could expand on each one of these topics and maybe I will at some point in time, but I'm going to keep this nice and simple for you. Number one, you're going to get tired. Sorry, that's just what's going to happen. If I asked you to do uh, sprints for six minutes straight, you wouldn't be able to do it. If you guys do anything about the human body, I think it has been physiologically proven that the human body can sprint for a maximum of four seconds. So think about that. We wrestle for six minutes. Human body can sprint for four seconds. Obviously, if you wrestle hard, you are going to get tired. Okay, so that's number one. You're going to get tired. Number two would be try to increase your efficiency. And this does not mean... Don't do anything. This means if you're the one leading the dance, if you're the one doing the fakes, if you're the one snapping the head, if you're the one doing that stuff, you're going to be very efficient. You're going to be making them use a lot of energy, right? You want to be the efficient one. You want to be the one leading the dance. You want to be the one causing them to react to you, which is going to make them more tired. And the same thing is not going to happen to you, which then leads me to my next point. Point number three is that this is just like when a bear is chasing you. It's very simple. You do not have to be faster than that bear. You only have to be faster than the other person who's running away from the bear. Again, you don't have to beat the bear. You just got to beat the other guy because the bear's going to get that guy. You're good to go. Okay? Same thing with wrestling. And I said this about the Conor and Khabib fight. And frankly, because their endurance level is both relatively, relatively similar, um, is that if we're at 100%, and we go down at the same level, we're still here, right? So if we're both at 70, we're the same. If we're both at 60, we're the same. Now, what you want to be able to do by getting in good shape is, again, you're going to get tired. You're never going to be able to maintain maximum effort. But what you can do is get yourself in good shape so you get less tired. Also, number two, creating efficiency. Remember, we talked about creating efficiency. will also make you less tired, make your opponent more tired, right? So if, even if you go down, you're at 100% maximum right here, energy. You go down to 70, but your opponent drops all the way to 50. Now you're looking really good because you're still functioning on a pretty good level. They are way down to 50, so now you're looking like a superstar compared to them. So you don't have to be in better shape than anyone except your opponent. So if you get in better shape, you're efficient, like we talked about in our two, your opponent's going to get tired, you're going to look really good. And then the last one, the last one that we need to talk about, is you need to get used to being tired. And the only way you do that is go get tired. You go get tired, you're never going to not get tired. Like we talked about number one, you're never going to not get tired. But what you can do, you can get used to being tired. And I could, I could give a whole bunch of athletes do a great job at this. And the more you get used to being tired, the better you're going to react. And when, when, you know, when we see this go wrong, when we see this the other way, when we see athletes who aren't used to being tired, is when they make really stupid mistakes. Okay? And so one athlete um, is used to push the pace. The other athlete has not been in that frame of reference before very often. And so when the one athlete pushes athlete number two to a point where they're really tired and they haven't been there before, their brain will stop functioning right and they'll start doing really, really, really stupid things. I'm sure we can think of, anyone who's watching wrestling, you can think of 50 times that you've seen someone in therapy do something really, 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 really stupid. I can almost guarantee you they did that really, really, really stupid thing because they were really tired and they'd never been there before, and they didn't know how to react, and they didn't know how to deal with it, and they didn't know how it felt, and that's why they did something stupid. So, if you have a fear of getting tired, I give you four really simple things that you need to look at in your life that you can do, that you can go execute upon in order to make that fear go down, and then hopefully, eventually, you totally get rid of the fear of getting tired. And you maybe get like me, because I always knew I'm not a fast switch athlete, very slow switch athlete. So I knew for me, if I was able to get myself exhausted, my opponent 
we ready to fall over. If you look at the one match, I don't know one match at the Olympics, unfortunately, but if you look at the one match at the Olympics, I completely exhaust the other man within the course of uh, two minutes and 30 seconds to the point where he got really tired, did something really stupid, and I was able to pin him. So, let's get over that fear of getting tired. It's really not that bad. Get yourself tired. Get, learn to enjoy it, and your life will be a lot easier. Hope you guys have a great Monday. Peace.